Hi folks, Andy Abbas here with Data Agility Group. So we've already discussed three areas, three phases that are critical in any data center migration so far. First was the assessment phase, the design phase, and the implementation phase. Now we're going to be discussing the testing phase. Equally as important, we want to be able to make sure that the, the migrated environment is indeed working the way it's supposed to be working, and it's signed off on by the respective parties, such as the application owners and the business owners. So there are two types of tests that are, we typically see when we're doing a data center transition. First is the UAT test, which is user acceptance testing, and the second is a performance testing. So let's discuss UAT testing first. The key areas that you want to focus on when you're doing a UAT test is you analyze the business. You analyze what the requirements are. What do their applications, uh, per, uh, what purpose do they serve? How are they being used? Who uses them? Second is we identify the UAT scenarios. What is going to be involved during the, the actual testing process? What is the customer wanting to achieve? Is it that they want to press a button and a command happens at, at a certain time frame and it actually accomplishes whatever it's meant to accomplish? Those are some of the things that we want to discuss with the client and make sure that we're documenting those. And then we want to define the test. We want to document each and every test scenario to know that which applications, if they're functioning the way they're supposed to be functioning. Now, some customers they require, may require, some organizations, excuse me, may require that all applications be tested. But many times, most companies are looking at their critical applications. And if they, are comfortable in knowing that their, those critical applications are functioning the way they're function that they're supposed to be, they're happy with the transition. Now they may find later on, as they're starting to use the other applications, that some applications may not be functioning as they're supposed to be, and if they're not critical, they'll address them as when they're starting to find out. But most of the times, the critical applications is what's typically looked at for the user acceptance testing. The next one is performance testing. This is very key. Most organizations, when they're moving their data center from the source to the target, they're looking for improved performance. Where the performance testing really plays a key role is to make sure that you're actually not under performance to what you were at the source after the migration. Now that could be because of many different things. It could be storage configuration, it could be bandwidth, it could be configuration that was potentially missed when you were doing your waves breakdown and you've left an application at your target data center, which should have moved with during that wave because it has a dependency. A lot of those things are the database servers in the same data center that they're supposed to be in. A lot of those things will be caught during the performance testing. Now how does that happen? Typically performance testing, you do a baseline testing. And the baseline testing will give you what the performance is for that particular application at the source data center. And again, same thing as UAT you will actually be selecting a certain set of applications that you want to test. After you do the baseline, we do the migration. After the migration, we would do another benchmark test. We want to figure out that the performance that you were seeing at the source are indeed the same at the target. So in that scenario, it allows you to know that you're in a better state, if not the same as what you were at the source. Now, most companies typically always have some level of testing done, either UAT or performance. They may not formally classify it as such. So you may not actually say that it's a performance test, but then they start complaining, well, my application is responding slower than what it should be. What that means is you need to start investigating what some of the issues could potentially be. Now, if you had actually done a baseline testing before, you can actually test that a quite a bit more effectively because you have a, you have data from how your environment looked like from day one versus your target environment. I hope this was helpful. Next, we're going to be discussing the management phase, which is, again, extremely critical to any data center migration.